Hey everybody, I'm back here. Today I'm going to show you some fall bass techniques to catch largemouth, maybe smallmouth, I don't know. We're starting off with a big bang. A 12 inch magnum lizard. Actually this is a 10 inch magnum lizard. I don't even know what brand it is. I bought this on Amazon and it only came with one. Four out, um, must add hook. There, I got this in the camo color. Put a, I'd fish, I'd fish it weightless, but you put a bullet weight on there. Tungsten would be better for a bait like this. Next bait, we're gonna get into the jigs. Finesse jigs. Full size jigs, swim jigs, trailers for jigs. Let's spin a bit. Let's start with trailers. I like using crawls on the back of my flipping and pitching jigs. This is just a Berkeley um, craw that I don't really like those, but I just want to show you. And then for swim jigs, I like these um, zoom, whatever. I don't know what they're called, but they're zooms right here. A little swim bait, three and a half inch. Throw those on your back of your swim jigs. Flipping jig. During the fall time, I like rattles, black and blue with a green pumpkin trailer. Mix it up so uh, the fishermen don't, or the bass, don't think you're uh, just a fisherman and they know what it's coming at you. So switch up your colors a little. Got rattles. Duh. Finesse jigs. I like going with Strike King finesse jigs. There. Striking. They're only like two dollars. These are bitsy flip jigs, I'm pretty sure. I got a swimming chunk on that one and then a flipper. I caught my PB smallmouth on this jig. And then for a really good winter and fall bass technique is this jig right here. It's bluegill color. It's got rattles, it's got a green pumpkin trailer on it. You can barely hear the rattles. And I modified these rattles right here to where there's only two balls in there. And all you do by that is you take the rattles off there and you uh, cut the thing open, but you have to glue it back together. So it's a hard process, but it works. This jig's also made out of tungsten, and so is this one. Next bait isn't a, a small spinner bait. Big spinner baits work too. They're actually better, but for demonstration, I'm just going to show you the Strike King Mini King. Good palm bait for bass. Maybe crappie. I doubt it though. Got that nice Colorado blade on there. Really small presentation for spinner bait. Pretty easy bait to throw. And then we got a big bait. This is a bluegill. By Savage Gear, it's only twelve dollars. It's rubber, but it's a big swim bait. If you're looking for a really big bass, use Huddleston. I have a couple of those, but not in this video. They're at my dad's. Fifteen pound floral. Just tied this on there a second ago for demonstration. Bluegill color once again. See, match the hatch. pretty close. Thanks for watching.